Hi, Jacob. How are you doing? Thanks heaps for the response. I completely agree. One person by themselves makes absolutely bugger all impact. Completely, hardly any. Um, and that's why um, my my veganism isn't just about uh, what I eat or what I wear. It's also about doing that little bit extra. Um, because because I realise that me by myself, the the only thing my veganism really achieve, well it achieves two things so it's kind of two pronged but um for one I'm not supporting something that I disagree with right and that I think is just causing needless suffering um for both animals and like non-human animals and humans really at the end of the day um and the other thing is as well so it's like about me standing up for my personal ethics um, and then the other thing is as well that if if as well as um, if as well as um, like being vegan myself then I am also encouraging other people to go vegan um, or to you know abstain from hurting animals basically um, I have to set an example myself too so it's like um you know, if if I say, oh, all this is bad and, and it needs to end, but, but then I'm eating, I don't know, a bit of meat, some eggs, you know, there's no way that ever I can imagine myself going back to, like, a, a full bore, you know, like, standard um, Western diet. But say I was doing those things, um, how could I ever encourage other people to abstain from things that cause cruelty and suffering and needless death to an deaths to animals um, if I was not being the change I want to see in the world, so to speak. So, yeah, thanks heaps for your response and I'm sorry I said I was going to uh, try and help you find some no-cook um, or low-cook um, solutions to your issue with the fact that you can't find any vegan convenience foods that don't cost a mint in your local area I'd been kind of distracted but don't worry it's in here somewhere anyway thanks again I think my chips are here see ya